Howdy folks, uh, my name is Kathy Williams de Vries, I'm from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia and um, you might know me as a clarinet player um, but uh, over the last uh, couple of months I've decided to branch into Baroque Recorder. This is only a cheap plastic thing so it doesn't sound brilliant uh, but I thought I might do a class um, given that I'm unfamiliar on this instrument, because uh, I mean I can sight read pretty much anything on clarinet, um, is uh, I thought I would take you through um, when I get a piece for the first time. And I'm on an unfamiliar instrument and I just wanted to take you through uh, what is involved in, uh, in learning a new piece and picking it up for the first time. Now I, I picked this piece up yesterday so I um, just sort of roughly went through it at speed. Um, there's no way you can play it at speed, sort of... Uh, no, so... Uh, it's got some interesting bits. Like, stuff like that. Um, uh, stuff that I would be able to read very easily at sight on a clarinet, but because the treble recorder has a completely different um, fingering system uh, to the clarinet or regular recorder, um, I'm kind of a bit of a newbie, a bit of a beginner at this. So what I've done is I've taken it back to a speed, this is the um, Telemann Trio in F major, um, if you're wondering what it is, uh, there are three sonatas for flute, harpsichord, and viola da gamba. And uh, so, what uh, what I do is I uh, I get a metronome. Uh, metronomes are invaluable. Uh, this is a Boss uh, Doctor Beat DB30 metronome. It's not quite as fancy as your your big Doctor Beat metronomes. But um, what I've done is, I mean, I'm assuming that it'll probably end up around about um, crotchet equals 120. I'm not sure how fast they take it. But that's of no consequence right now. What we need to do now is take it at a speed that I can play it at without making any mistakes. So what I've done is I've taken it back to 72. You can hear that tick. I'll just turn up. There you go. So I start to play it, and as you play it, you'll discover there are hard spots. So that's a hard spot there. Um, and I find actually that what I've been doing is because this is what you do in clarinet playing is you you leave fingers down because you know you'll need them, but uh, on recorder that interferes, especially with the higher notes like a top top D can be changed completely maybe that's a chore fingering if you leave your fingers down so so and I find that I find the top D hard to get sometimes now a bit of water in it that doesn't help Do the let the first couple of bars. Oops. See, I'm, I'm still a newbie at this fingering system. It's quite different. I find bar four difficult because um, I mean I can play runs very easily because I've got the basic technique for that uh, but I'm still having trouble recognizing notes and uh, where to put the fingers for example when I see an A my immediate reaction is to play an A 
but in fact an A on treble recorder is actually an E. <laughs> so um, I can play runs quite easily but when it comes to wide leaps I have trouble sometimes with what the note needs to be on disc recorder rather than what I want to play which would be on the descant recorder. So we take this bar and actually the fingering is a little bit like clarinet playing but it's a different octave so that you know how a low A is the same as an E on clarinet you just um, take it, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit weird but, um, but let's take this bar out so I practice that a couple of times And so we suddenly get it. I think also because I recognise where the chord is going, that also helps with um, my note placement. So we're, we're moving through the chords, um, and that, that kind of helps with what notes you need to play. So it's starting to come together, so we put the note, we put the bar before it. We're getting there, so let's do that again. not getting that top D. I think it just needs more air. you can see already that there are bars that are easier than others so what we do is I, I just tend to ignore the bars I can play and focus on the other ones so that's really weird So let me just struggle on with this and you'll you'll see what I do in order to get these things right. We really need to pitch this because it wants to go to the upper harmonic. So I'm having trouble with that, so let's pull that a bit. is very difficult for me because I'm not familiar with the fingering system so I'm learning a whole new instrument and this is um, so I'm not not only learning notes I'm learning notes on the instrument as well um, and that's very frustrating for me because if I pick this up on clarinet I could sight read it and transpose it at the same time and here I'm on an instrument where I'm totally unfamiliar with the um, I'm totally unfamiliar with the fingering so I'm not only learning notes, but I'm, I'm learning the notes on the instrument as well. 
no water. There you go. Much easier when there's no water. You gotta suck it out. And then we can do this this next bit. So let's do the first four bars again and then I'll move on to the next hard bit. So I'm still pretty crap. I think we can all agree on that. So that was that bar. Let's do the first four bars again. move on to the next two bars which are black notes but because we're at 72 we're at a um, we can uh, handle it at that speed so and again here we've got this wide leap So maybe because I've just got an inferior plastic recorder, the upper notes sound crap on it. But let's go back to the first lot of semi quavers. And we do that a few times. something there. got those wide leaps and I have problems with that. I have problems with octaves too. And I shouldn't have problems with octaves because octaves on a recorder are really easy. Uh, they're not like a clarinet with a clarinet overblows at the twelfth. But let's go through this whole passage again, starting with um This is the only instance where the octave doesn't work is when you go up into the into the upper register, the top F. So let's practice those three bars beforehand. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm still having trouble getting up to the top F. But I'm not having any trouble with the semi quavers, and in fact, I could probably do the semi quavers a lot quicker. But we're going to do everything at the same speed because that's my that's my belief is that you do the movement at the same speed. You don't do the, you don't do the bits fast that you can do fast. You do it all at the same tempo and gradually increase it across the board. And this bit, this bar is hard. I'll, I'll just... And I probably shouldn't be holding fans down, but I don't know. I'm not used to playing an instrument that doesn't have a um, thumb rest. So I'm still, still finding my way on that. So here. And what I'm having most difficulty with is the E to the G. So maybe not so hard. I, I think I, I think I'm finally getting it. I have been practicing this a little bit before I started the tape. Now this bit's fun. But anyway, that's enough for me. Um, obviously, I'm a really crappy recorder player at the moment. Um, and I'm learning something that's probably way too hard for me. But I'll give you a, um, a rough rundown of what's required. Um, when you first pick up a new piece is have it have a read of a read through but what, but in that read through find out where the problem areas are going to be and then set a speed that you know you can play it at um, and work on the hard bits so oops Okay, so actually that, that bit's gelling quite well. And then if you go on. And this bit's hard. Here I might take the metronome off actually. So I'm having trouble getting the high notes. Again, I don't know whether it's because I don't have enough air or this is just a crappy recorder. I'd say a little bit of both. Maybe it's air support. So it's 
So it's coming along. But um, I hope that I've illuminated a little bit for you what goes on um, when you're first sight reading a piece and when you're first learning it. So first and foremost, get yourself a metronome and uh, put it at the slower speed. I mean, I could take this even slower. I could take this at half speed, and I often do. You know, so no, no speed is ever too slow, depending on your um, level. And I'm having trouble getting that D out again. So if there are any recorder players in the room, would you please let me know why my D is not coming out? So it's coming out, so maybe I just need to take it back to 60. Okay, so that's enough from me, um, and hopefully I'll keep you updated on how my recorder playing is coming. I have already posted a few videos of my recorder playing, um, and I hope you'll see that they're gradually getting better. But uh, that's enough from me. Bye for now.